now the next clinical is hip joint diseases hip joint diseases reflect an interesting age pattern below 5 years there occurs congenital dislocation of hip joint and tuberculosis occurs between 5 to 10 years parthis disease occurs between 10 to 20 years coxavera occurs above 40 years osteoarthritis of hip joint occurs this was the clinical condition hip joint disease age pattern now the next clinical is arthritis of hip joint in arthritis of hip joint the position of hip joint is partially flexed abducted and laterally rotated this was the clinical condition arthritis of hip joint now the next clinical is osteoarthritis it is an age age related cartilage degeneration of articular surfaces it is characterized by growth of osteophytes at the articular ends which make the movements limited and painful this was the clinical osteoarthritis the next clinical is anterior drawer sign injury to anterior cruciate ligament caused by anterior dislocation of tibia the anterior cruciate ligament is more commonly damaged than posterior cruciate ligament in anterior drawer sign the tibia tibia is pulled tibia is pushed anteriorly this was the clinical condition anterior drawer sign now the next clinical is posterior drawer sign the posterior cruciate ligament is injured in the posterior dislocation of tibia the injury may be simple sprain or complete tear of posterior cruciate ligament in posterior drawer sign tibia is pushed posteriorly this was the clinical condition posterior drawer sign now the next clinical is backward cyst it is a central swelling which occurs due to osteoarthritis of knee joint synovial membrane protrudes through a hole in the posterior part of capsule of knee joint this was the clinical backward cyst now the next clinical is hallux valgus because of ill fitted shoes great toe gets pushed laterally even dislocating the sesamoid bone the head of first metatarsal points medially and adventitious bursa develops there toes may be deformed at their joints resulting in claw toe this was the clinical condition hallux valgus now the next clinical is body splint when the fractured toe is bandaged with the adjacent toe it is called body splint now the next clinical is shuffling gait loss of spring in the foot leads to a clumsy shuffling gait the spring in the foot is provided by
मीडियल एंड लैटरल लॉन्गिट्यूडिनल आर्चेज ऑफ द फुट विच द लॉस ऑफ दीज आर्चेज लीड टू कलम सी शफलिंग इट लॉस ऑफ शॉक एब्जॉर्बिंग फंक्शन मेक्स द फुट मोर लाइबल टू ट्रामा एंड ओस्टियो आर्थराइटिस दिस वॉज द क्लिनिकल कंडीशन शफलिंग इट नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्लिनिकल इज इंजरी टू मीडियल मिनिस्कस मीडियल मिनिस्कस इज मोर वेबल टू इंजरी दैन द लेटरल मिनिस्कस बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स फिक्सिटी to the capsule and tibial collateral ligament the popliteus muscle protects lateral meniscus so that it is not crushed between the articular surfaces of the joint this was the clinical injury to medial meniscus now the next clinical is to find the site of pulse palpation in lower limb there are various sites of pulse palpation femoral artery the first is femoral artery popliteal artery posterior tibial artery dorsalis pedis artery the popliteal artery is used for auscultation to measure blood pressure in lower limb in coarctation of aorta the blood pressure in popliteal artery popliteal artery is greater than the blood pressure in aorta this was the to this was to site to find the site of pulse palpation in lower limb popliteal artery is most commonly used to measure blood pressure next clinical is weaver's bottom it is the inflammation of the bursa over the ischial tuberosity ischial tuberosity bursa since weavers have to sit for a long time they suffer from it more often it leads to pain during sitting when the ischial tuberosity bursitis occurs bursitis occurs this was the clinical condition viewers bottom